Squid Industries typically follows a philosophy of utilizing innovative functionality within their Balasong models. And while the Nautilus certainly has its unique cosmetic and material features, in my mind it stands more as a tribute to the traditional pinned tank Balasong profile. And while it seems like a slight departure from what Squid Industries does best, I actually think it serves as proof that Squid Industries can push the parameters of what's possible in Balasong production while also maintaining traditional classic function. I'm your host, The Average Flipper, and today I want to dissect a product that has quickly become one of my favorite ballot songs. So without further ado, let's dive into this channel's first full review of the coveted Hall of Fame ballot song, The Squid Industries Nautilus. What's going on guys? Before we get started here, make sure to smash that subscribe button for me so you don't miss any content in the future. I'll also take this opportunity to let you know that next week we are doing a Squid Industries giveaway. There's gonna be some really cool accessories and whatnot. You don't wanna miss it, but you do have to be subscribed to this channel to be eligible to win. The channel recently reached over 500 subscribers with almost 200,000 views in total. And while my current budget doesn't really allow for a ballot song giveaway, the Squid Industries Squid Team was kind enough to provide us with a couple accessories um, and some other cool stuff that I'm not going to tell you about, uh, which I will be giving away to one lucky winner next week. Make sure to check the description on this video to find out how to enter. Okay, enough of the channel stuff. Let's talk about this guy. From the second I unboxed the Nautilus, I was reassured that my intuition about this model was correct. At 3.6 ounces, the weight is wonderful. The 7075 aluminum anodization and synergistic relationship with the G10 scales and tang pin construction created an incredibly ergonomic and smooth flipping experience. And the DLC coating on the 410 heat treated stainless steel blade was just a lovely touch that I chose over the satin finish. I was immediately and pleasantly surprised to find that the G10 scales were a very smooth texture, but in my first few flips, I realized that the texture was perfect to the grip relative to the weight of the ballot song itself. Wait, what? Choosing and creating textures is one thing, forming and balancing the ballot song is another, and in my experience, the grip texture to weight relationship is often an overlooked aspect of Balasong manufacturing. But with the Nautilus, and I don't know if this was intentional or not, the grip of the G10 both through its finish and milling patterns serves perfectly for the weight of the Balasong as a whole. 10 out of 10 on the handles. And let's be honest, it's just gorgeous as well. In my subjective opinion, the flipping experience seemed to be a bit handle bias, which is actually what I prefer, and the sound that the three primary materials make together in use is a calming opposition to the high-pitched ping that I'm used to in some of these other models. Let's take a listen. If I could Frankenstein a ballad song inside my brain, the Nautilus seems to be a perfect combination of features from the Cray Kraken V3 and the Squiddy A. It's a perfect example of premium materials and construction combined with a lightweight, responsive action. For those of you who don't know, I actually have a pretty severe case of tendonitis and a little carpal tunnel in my right hand, and 
The Nautilus is a healthy reminder that ballast song flipping, for me, should be kept in that lightweight belt. As for these tang pins, I originally thought I would notice a different response from the Nautilus because of that feature, but I can confidently say that it doesn't seem to alter my flipping experience whatsoever. And with the collection mostly full of Zen Tin ballast songs, I'm really enjoying having a high-end ballast song that is slightly different in that regard. One feature that I really love cosmetically is the Squid Industries engraving on the inside of the channel handles. Honestly, I think that Squid Industries should include this engraving on all of their aluminum models, but that's just my two cents. At 10 inches long, the length is nothing shy of perfect, and the tapered half inch by half inch width is rather standard for Squid Industries, but when you find a shape that works, why change it too much? Now, I've heard some controversy about the spine jimping and the flipping experience of the Nautilus. And while I respect the opinions of those people, I don't agree. I personally have found the grip and the control of the Nautilus to be rather exceptional. I do happen to prefer lightweight ballast songs over heavier ballast songs, but if it's not your cup of tea, more power to you. In conclusion, with the average flipper rating system, the handles receive a 10 out of 10, the blade receives a 9 out of 10, the flipping experience, 9 out of 10, and the cosmetic appearance overall is a 10 out of 10 for me. In my opinion, if I had to pick it apart and choose one thing that I would change personally for my balance preferences, it would be the weight of the blade. As I mentioned, I prefer a handle bias ballast song, but in this particular model, I feel that a little bit of weight added to the tip of the blade would actually create a more desirable flipping experience during fanning tricks. Again, that's just my personal opinion, and when it comes to Squid Industries, subjectively finding something to complain about is actually rather difficult, so I take that with a grain of salt. All in all, when it comes to ballast songs and knives in general, really, what you gain in one, you lose in the other, and vice versa. The journey, the search for the perfect ballast song is an ongoing venture, and that's what we're here for. But I can confidently say that alongside with the Craig Rack and V3, as far as my experience has gone, the Nautilus is as close to perfection as you can get. Keep an eye out for that upcoming giveaway next week. Make sure to subscribe and enter for that. And until next time, thanks for watching.